Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about associative memory. Associative memory is also called content addressable memory. Associative memory is not accessed by address. It is accessed by the content. Whenever a word is to be read from associative memory, its content or a part of that word is specified. And then all the words of the memory which match the specified content are marked for reading. Now let us see how it happens. Now see this associative memory which is capable of storing M words of N bits. So in this case, there is a match register and this match register will have M bits. One bit corresponding to each word of memory, right? One bit for each word of memory. And there are two N bit registers. One is called argument register. Another is called key register. Now, to read a word from this memory, a content of uh, that word, right, or a part of that word is specified in this argument register, right. Suppose that argument register has the content 1, 1, 0. 0, 1, 0, right? And suppose the content of key registers is 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, right? And there are four words in memory. And this is the match register. It has four bits. One bit for each word of memory. This is the argument register. And this is the key register. Now, now those bits of argument register whose corresponding bits are one in key register. They will be compared with the corresponding bits of words of memory. If there is a match in any word, then the corresponding uh, bit of that word in the match register will be marked as 1. Otherwise, the corresponding uh, bit of uh, that word in a match register will be marked as 0. Right? So here, in this case, these three bits are 1 in key register. So the bits corresponding to these three bits in argument registers are this one. 1, 0, 0. So these bits will be compared with the corresponding bits of the words. Now see the first word. The corresponding bits to these three bits are this. Right. This is 0, 1, 1. But in argument register the bits are 1, 0, 0. So here there is no match. So the corresponding bit of this word in the match register is 0. Right. Now see this second word the uh, corresponding bit of these three bits are this 100 zero, zero. now see here the bits are same 100 zero, zero. so here in the match register the bit which corresponds to this word is marked as 1 now see the third word the corresponding bits to these bits are this 111 one, one. So here there is no match. So the corresponding bit to this word is marked 0. Right? So see in the fourth word, the bits corresponding to these three bits are 0, 0, 0. Again there is no match. So the fourth bit 
which corresponds to the fourth word of memory right the fourth bit of match register which corresponds to fourth word of memory will be marked as zero right now here there is only one match okay the second word is matched with the content of argument register so this is here marked in a match register as one so it is it can be read from memory right it is marked for reading 